Okay, so I know that we have talked about the definition of chic before, and that definition was attractive and fashionable, stylish. Okay, fair enough. That was the adjective definition. The noun definition of chic is much better in my opinion. Casual and understated style, as in dress or decor, that expresses a specified trendy lifestyle or activity. Yes. Yes. Like, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like it. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like All right, hey there fashion friends, welcome to today's episode. I'm very happy that you decided to tune in here with me today. I feel very honored, yes. So why are we here today? What is today's video about? Well, we are looking at seven hacks to always have chic, edgy style. Hold up, days go wild when I pull up. They all on me like a one thing. Think I got what you need, well I have none. Hop off, you're a freak and I'm handsome. I think that um, some people might say that an edgy style, you just have it or you don't, but I don't believe that. I believe that with um, being open and learning and um, making changes, you can be anything you want. And if that is wanting to be edgy, edgy chic, then you have found the right video. Or maybe it's that you already are edgy chic and you just kind of want to see what my little, you know, tips or hacks are and see if they're similar to yours. And if so, yeah, feel free to comment below and let us know what your tips or hacks are to always looking edgy and chic. If you're new here, you haven't really heard me talk much about edgy. Um, if you aren't new here, you have heard me talk about edgy. But to me, having an edge to your style or having edgy style isn't about having just like the stereotypical edge of like, you know, black or combat boots or motorcycle jacket or studs or tattoos or whatever it may be. To me, edginess speaks more to a sort of mood, to a certain aesthetic, but the mood is more portraying cutting edge and not being mainstream, sort of being more unexpected. And why I think that these hacks are good for a minimalist wardrobe, if you are somebody that is taking that minimalist approach like myself, um, I think that these are all tools that work in a very timeless, uh, seasonless way. So you can use these for years and years and years to come, and it's always gonna work for you. Also, they're going to be functional as well as stylistic. But if you aren't somebody taking a minimalist approach, it does not mean that these hacks won't work for you as well. They will also elevate your style just as much as everybody else's. So with that, let's, let's get started. Let's get into this. So number one is find your counterpoints. Not to sound condescending, but if you don't know what counterpoint means, counterpoint basically means to emphasize or clarify with contrast or juxtaposition. And in my sort of terms, I see a counterpoint as yes, like here's one end of the spectrum and here's the other end of the spectrum. And that is kind of your counterpoint, whatever is on the other end of that spectrum. And I find that counterpoints are sort of what gives balance in so many different situations. It's like in a work environment, if somebody is your counterpoint, it is somebody that is doing the complete opposite to you, but is ultimately um, adding such value to your dynamic because they're bringing something to the table that you are not. So that is why I love counterpoints in so many aspects of life. Perfect example is a cute girly dress with a pair of combat boots. Easy, easy example. Um, you've got the girlish sort of charm, femininity of the dress with the more masculine, chunky, more dominant type silhouette of the combat boot. And so it's just, again, it brings out another side of the girlish dress and it tones down that masculinity, that sort of harshness of the boot bringing in that dress. So they ultimately just kind of bring each other closer to the middle and ultimately making a very effortless look. And the more creative outside of the box you can get with creating counterpoints, I feel like the more unexpected and more stylistic you can make a look. What a lot of stylists have over a lot of other people is that kind of creativity to create 
um, different counterpoints that are a lot more unexpected, not as mainstream, and you know, encompass sort of trends and lifestyles. So therefore creating edgy, chic looks. invest in black. So black is kind of your stereotypical edgy piece, isn't it? Yeah. But um, I also think it is super chic. It is probably the most well-known chic piece is uh, if you know Coco Chanel, girl loved her some black. She just said it was the most chic thing you could wear. In my opinion, I know a lot of people do not agree with this. Um, I think black looks good on everybody because it's very slimming. It's, in my opinion, it's very flattering. It just kind of accents the skin color. And ultimately, yes, it's just very moody and just, ugh, just adds such drama to a look. Obviously going all black is going to create an even more dramatic edgy chic vibe. Black, I feel like you can just do anything with. So I love it for just doing tight on tight, for doing oversized on oversized or oversized with tight, wearing a little black dress, wearing a black jumpsuit, or just wearing a normal outfit of a black cardigan, black t-shirt, black jeans. You know, I just don't think it ever gets old. Again, what makes it super valuable to kind of like, especially somebody that is kind of taking a minimalist approach to their wardrobe like myself, um, that wants kind of those pieces that are gonna withstand the test of time, I think, Black is just timeless. It's, it doesn't go out of style. It can be reinvented always. Yeah, you can really make it your own. So that's definitely something that I would suggest getting comfortable with. go monochrome. I've spoken to going monochrome many times. I think it's such a bold, cool way of styling, especially if you're somebody that doesn't like black. So if you're somebody that doesn't really want to wear black, you're just kind of over it. I think going monochrome is such a great alternative or it's, you know, even when you like black. So you could go monochrome with black, but really you can do it with any color. If you're not familiar with monochrome, basically it's just wearing one color from head to toe and you can kind of go tonal with it. You don't have to necessarily have the exact same color. I mean, when you do, I mean, <laughs> that looks fierce, I think, especially when it's kind of like an off color, um, but that's probably not the most minimalist approach. But um, anyways, you can go tonal with monochrome as well. So just meaning like you could have like a khaki blazer with a more like cream beige shirt and maybe like a lighter khaki pair of pants. Why I think going monochrome is gives you that edgy chic vibe because it's unexpected. It's not something that everybody does, but I think because it is a more bold statement, it automatically becomes edgy and chic for that very reason. The other fun thing about this styling tool is it can be translated into any style type, any style category, um, any style mood. So whatever it may be, uh, maybe you're gothic, maybe you're punk, maybe you're preppy, maybe you're, I can't even think of style categories right now, my mind come blank. But you get what I'm saying. It's chic because it's understated and effortless and um, also shows sort of confidence. intentional accessories. Okay, so I've done lots of videos on accessories and I've 
probably said this so many times that most of you are very sick of hearing me say it, but I'm gonna say it again, because there's probably some of you here that are new and you haven't heard me say it. So there we go. Being intentional with accessories is everything in my opinion. And especially if you want edgy, chic style, you really do need to be you know, mindful and intentional with your accessories. Because I think when you stop doing that and you just kind of throw accessories on just to throw them on, it definitely starts to just look, for lack of a better term, basic. Chic again is being understatedly stylistic and edgy is being, you know, cutting edge or unexpected. And so I think when you are intentional with your jewelry, it, you know, becomes both of those things. I'm one that definitely, like, sometimes I wear no accessories at all. Like, if I don't think the look calls for it, if the look needs it, I don't wear any accessories. Uh, like the outfit I'm wearing today, like, the, the sweater has, like, these really cool, cool, like, nautical gold buttons. Um, it's got like a lot of pattern, a lot of detail. Um, so I just don't really think it needs anything else. Um, I've got like some rings on, got some rings and like a watch, but that's just like your timeless go-to sort of, you know, everyday type jewelry that in my opinion, doesn't distract from the look. I think that if you're intentional in the sense that maybe you're somebody like Phoebe Buffay from Friends. And to me, like her accessories, she was complete opposite to me. I would say she was almost, she was almost like a maximalist, but I still always felt like her jewelry was very intentional. So it was like the necklace always made sense with the outfit. Her almost boldness and audaciousness with her jewelry made her, in my opinion, edgy chic. Cause ultimately, the boldness of the jewelry was very cutting edge. It was very, you know, not mainstream. And I mean, nothing about Phoebe Buffay was mainstream. And then as well as that, she was chic in my opinion because she was portraying like her lifestyle, her style, and just encompassing that and having the confidence in that um, and really asking no, you know, asking for no forgiveness. So that to me just, you know, encompasses that chic style. is find fierce yet easy shoes. So I feel like if you are trying to encompass that edgy chic style, make sure that you're choosing a pair of shoes, just something that makes it special. And it doesn't have to be special to anybody else, just special to you. Like don't just buy a pair of shoes just to buy a pair of shoes. Buy a pair of shoes when they absolutely speak to you, when they just yell at you and say, take me, take me, take me home, now. That is when you should be buying a pair of shoes. Um, if you're not just super giddy and pumped about a pair of shoes and cannot wait to style them with an outfit, let them, let them be, let them lie. Keep it, keep it moving because then it just, it doesn't, doesn't do anything for your wardrobe. doesn't do anything for your edgy chic style. It's just going to add noise to your closet. Fierce yet easy shoes are ultimately shoes that you feel good in stylistically and as well as that comfort wise. I don't think it makes sense to wear shoes that you're not comfortable in because then you're just never gonna wanna wear them. That's kind of where I think with shoes especially, you want them to be easy go-to um, so that you can wear them as often as possible and have them elevate your looks in an edgy chic way always. So there we go. Number six is get a good haircut. Yeah, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know how I feel about hair. I think hair is probably one of the most important things to our styles. It can just add so much effortless style, effortlessly. <laughs> So now I've, I've done it all. You know, I've done, like I said, I did the side shave. I've done super short pixies. I've bleached the living daylights out of my hair and been like, done like the silver fox look. I've shaved my head. I feel like I've done it all. I've done it all. So I'm not saying that you have to go to those extremes. You don't have to go to the, you know, bleached 
pixie cut or the shaved head or the side shave. But I more just mean like finding a haircut that works for you and inspires you. If you're feeling kind of blah, if you don't feel like your hair is adding anything to your style, then maybe it's time to kind of shake it up a bit. Maybe chat with your hairstylist, you know, see what, what they think is the best for your face, for your look, um, you know, kind of to keep within your comfort zone. Um, or yeah, completely shake it up and just go bold, go extreme, go completely out of your comfort zone and see what that does. Because guess what? Hair, it grows back. So you really can't go wrong. I mean, worst case scenario, you have to, you might have to invest in a few good hats if you're not um, into uh, the hair style. But I guarantee you for the most part, when you, when you go kind of extreme, when you go, you know, with something that's a little bit more out of your comfort zone, it will actually inspire you a bit. So depending on where you're at, on the scale, but I do think maybe, yeah, just do a little something, you know, maybe it's that you get some bangs, you know, maybe it's that you put a few more layers in your hair. Maybe it's you add some texture. Maybe you, you know, go a different color, whatever it is. But I do think that having a good hairstyle is extremely important to an edgy chic. seven is a checklist of style tweaks. Little styling details that you can add to a look whenever. So as a stylist, you have a few little zhuzh details in your arsenal. I've done videos on this. I will make sure to link it down below on just kind of like a stylist's secrets on how they kind of add that little bits of extra style to kind of add in that effortless style. So just simple little details that just having little style tweaks that work for you, that you love, and just having kind of like a checklist so that when you put on an outfit, you can kind of go through that checklist, whether it's just like in your head or maybe it's in your phone, or maybe it's like a little list that you have taped on your mirror or taped in like your drawer or whatever it is. But just kind of running through that checklist and thinking like what of, which of these little, you know, style tweaks can I add to this look? And maybe in some cases you won't add any, maybe it won't really, you know, call for it. You can separate yourself from the mainstream, adding that edge, by adding these little tweaks because it's going to add those little unexpected details that separate you. All right, my friends, that is it for my seven hacks to have edgy chic style always. All right, my friends, those are my seven minimalist wardrobe hacks to always have edgy chic looks. All right, my friends, those are my seven hacks to always have edgy chic looks. So hopefully today's episode was helpful for you. If you are somebody that is looking to always have edgy chic style, or maybe if you are somebody that already has it, um, you enjoyed hearing that we have a lot of this in common. Either way, if you did like today's episode, you know what to do. Give me that thumbs up, comment below, share with your friends, and subscribe for future weekly episodes. And if you are already subscribed, click that bell to be notified when I post my new episodes so that you never miss this face. All right, my lovelies, you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay healthy, stay safe, love and support each other, and we will definitely be chatting soon. Bye.